The M4A1 could possibly be back on the top tier. Today we're going to talk about the best loadout for the M4A1. Now let's go ahead and talk about it. Esava, this is Lazyboard and welcome to today's video guys. Today I bring you my loadout for the M4A1. This is the updated build after the brand new meta shift. And there are a couple of weapons, guys, that are giving a lot, a lot of competition to the Growl. As you guys know, right, one of the biggest issues we have right now is, is the Growl still OP? Is there another weapon that's going to take the Growl's place as number one? There are a couple viable weapons, and we're going to be breaking down each loadout one by one. So if you guys haven't had a chance to check out my, um, my updated Growl loadout, highly recommend you check that out. My MP5 update, highly recommend you guys check that out. But today we're going to be focusing on the M4A1 and why I believe this weapon is definitely a contender to be the new meta weapon. But before we take a look at the loadout, I do want to remind you guys to don't forget to drop a like on this video. And overall, guys, make sure you subscribe and turn on those notifications so you won't miss our Call of Duty videos. You won't miss out these amazing loadouts. Basically, these loadouts come out first and then all the streamers copy my loadouts and they put it together. So... Make sure you guys stay tuned and get these loadouts. Also, if you want to see these loadouts in play, make sure you guys head on over to Twitch. Hit us with that follow. We stream every day, and we showcase these loadouts for you guys over there on stream. So hopefully you guys enjoy our stream, and Twitch link is down below. I'll see you guys over there. All right, so now let's take a look at the brand new loadout for the M4A1. So we're going to be running, guys, the Compensator. I know I had Monolithic Suppressor here, but we're going to be switching it up to the Compensator. As you guys know, Monolithic is going to give you a little bit more range, and the Compensator is going to give you more accuracy and more control. I like the Compensator a little bit better due to the fact that it's going to allow you to keep the gun under control. One of the biggest issues with this particular weapon is the fact that the recoil is a little bit harder to control than the Growl. Or the kilo so you're definitely going to want to have something that gives you just a tad bit more accuracy a tad bit more control monolithic suppressor is good but remember this weapon out of 50 meters out it's not going to be any good so getting that additional range is not really going to help you out at all so compensator would be definitely the muscle to go with to here the only downside with the compensator is the fact that you will be picking picked up on the mini map but based on the new changes that we have in call of duty where you're able to scramble the uh, you kind of like the you know the radar it doesn't really factor too much into playing the monolithic because the radar Radar is mostly being scrambled the majority of the time so compensator is a really one to go with here then we're gonna go for the barrel guys of course out of all these barrels the Corvus is the best one to pick here now a lot of people like the FS 12 4 I don't know why and the 14.5 but the Corvus to me personally I think is the best one you could pick here it's gonna give you a plus damage range it's gonna give you bullet velocity plus recoil control remember once again problem with this weapon is the fact that the recoil is a little bit harder to control i personally don't have a problem with it but a lot of people tend to do so definitely you're going to want to go with the corvus now we're going to skip all the lasers we're going to skip optics it has a pretty good iron sight so i really don't mind uh you know not putting an optics on this for our under barrel we're going to go with the merc foregrip once again giving us that accuracy giving us that range and giving us control but one thing i like about this one is going to give us a little bit of hip fire now this weapon is pretty good at a close range it's not like the best weapon out of all of them but it actually does pretty good so if you want to hit fire you're able to do that but you're able to control that recoil and keep it under control. The other option would probably be the Commando or the Ranger foregrip. But overall, in general, I think the Merc foregrip is really good since this is a vertical recoil. It's going to control that recoil pretty down. Then we're going to go with the 60 round mags right here, guys. This is going to give you a lot, a lot of options. It's going to let you kill multiple enemies without having to reload. 50 mag is pretty good. You're still able to keep that mobility and that control. I mean, you're not going to be hindered with 50 or 60. It's all going to be dependent on you. Uh, but if you're playing quads, I would go with the 60. If you're playing trios and below, go with the 50 round mag. You guys should be good to go to clear, at least clear a whole team. So you guys should be good with that. You know, we did some testing here on the mobility and control. I really didn't notice any difference going from the 60 to the 50. Unless that gets, gets I mean, I heard it was a bug or it was something that needed to be patched. But I would stick with either the 50 or the 60 round here, and you guys should be good to go. I have no idea what's beeping in the background, but we'll try to sort it out pretty soon. Now, for the our backside here, for our rear grip, guys, we're going to be going with the rubberized grip tape. Once again, giving us accuracy. We're taking a hit on recoil a little bit, but that's about it. Uh, either that, anything else here doesn't really factor too well. Now, the only thing you're probably able to switch out if you don't like this rear grip, you can go with the laser. The laser uh, will give you a tack laser. Will definitely give you mobility control and accuracy now a lot of people don't like using these due to the fact that these are going to be getting picked up on the radar and people don't really like to get picked up on the radar 
But if you don't mind, you can go with the tack laser, get rid of this rear grip here, and it'll give you really good stuff. You're going to sacrifice a little bit of mobility, but your accuracy and your control is going to be keeping this gun under control and not allowing you to kick up too much. And overall, in general, guys, that is the best loadout for the M4A1. I'm going to leave you with a couple of gameplay. Make sure you guys check that out. Let me know what you guys think. Are you liking the M4A1 after the new update? It didn't really get touched, just the, nerf, just the growl got on par with the M41 and the Kilo. But let me know in the comment section down below what do you guys think. I will have a M4A1 versus Growl and a Kilo versus Growl pretty soon. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that video. Thank you guys for watching and enjoy the rest of the gameplay. Hello, buddy. My leg. Get that C4, though, boy. Having such a good game, too, man. Okay. Friendly recons online. UAV entering the AO. Let's go check over there, see what's up. Be advised, UAV is bingo fuel. RTB for resupply. Okay. Nothing there so far. Okay, so he got off. He's dead. All right, we're good, we're good. Yeah, what does it feel like, brother? Gotta outright this one right here. Make sure this guy doesn't shoot me from the top here because he has advantage so yeah, i saw him yeah, i see him jumping down Theoretically, this is still the zone, so we're good. I only got one plate. Oh, I see one up here. Hello, buddy. Okay, so that guy's shooting someone. I'll have to rotate to the left here. I think I'm gonna bump into the dude that was shooting me too. Oh, I see him too. Hello, buddy. Coming for you.
I don't know if he saw me. I don't see him. Okay, he's running. Try to get up behind him here. There you go, boy. That's what you get for shooting me. Dude, we just camp in the bush. I mean, GG. He tried. <laughs>